Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this house. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to set up our project. We added the grid lines and levels and even dimensions. Now we're going to continue working on this. Last thing we did is we set up the exterior wall number one. Now we're going to add this. So here select wall again. And then here we this is the one that we created recently. So now zoom in here. And let's start by adding B1. So select B1. Make sure you're in second floor. And then wall center line and change. So B1. Go into B2. Going down to C2. And then going across right here up to C5. And then going up a little around 1000 along grid 5 and then going across right here up to grid 6 and then from grid 6 let's go down right here and then we have E but we're going to put it short around 5700 and then from 5700 we're going to go across grid 5 but we're going to type in 2640 and then going down 1533 and then going back here to grid 5 then select it there after that once we have it there we need to go back up to this is e5 sorry let's go back not that one but we need to close this off right here and then we're going to change this to interior walls later on. Then we need to go to E. So this one is, we're going to extend this one all the way to G grid line. And then all across right here up to number three grid line so let's look for number three grid line which is right here this is g e and then we're going to go down 1000 from there so pull it down 1000 and then after 1000 just go back here to grid line number two and then after that go down again up to H2 and then here across here we're going to have around 3850 across and then at the same time going down up to F grid line and then closing it off to F1 and then going back to B1 the exterior walls that we're going to change is this ones so what we can do is TR trim and extend this one and then we could just exchange this later on to ex interior wall number one so those are the exterior wall um, now let's add in an interior wall so select here edit type duplicate this will be interior wall number one press ok edit and then 
uh, let's maintain the 200 thickness and then here let's select the other gypsum wallboard so usually for me I like to maintain the gypsum wallboard because it, it, that one is the one that shows um, the white material that which I like and it's easier to see so here I'm just gonna connect this one and then select the three of this by holding on control button selecting them individually and then here go to drop down and then we could just look for interior wall number one and it will be changed instantly so that's how easy it is to change a wall to a different um, categories or element so now we're gonna select that again and you should just type CS the reason for that is that's control similar basically we already have the element right here and we're just going to add it again so by doing this this will allow you to add them instantly and you don't need to look for it so for example if you have added different types already and then it's going to be harder for you to look for whatever you have so if you know that this is interior wall and you want to add interior wall as well CS on that and then here we're going to add it between D and E after we add it there select that one and we want it to be referring to E grid line and then type in 800 and then let's add the same one CS on that and we're going to add it along E so around 3500 around here so from E E2 just go over that and then here we're gonna connect them so trim and extend so we will have this look right here and then we're gonna extend this one all the way from here so that it's closed so the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to insert some furnitures so go to insert load family and then we have some families right here let's go to furniture and let's add in some tables here we're going to add a dining table so let's use this click on open and then type in CM by using CM you're, you're going to be able to add it instantly um, my suggestion is or my advice is every time you load anything make sure to add it instantly so that you don't need to look for it right here because once you load multiple times or you you load a lot of stuff um, this will be very crowded and it will be harder for you to look for it so here I just selected the ones that have a higher um, width and length uh, and then I believe we should edit this one so I'm going to add it right here for now select it edit and then here we could duplicate this we could put it as dining table so this is the part where we're editing a family and editing it is very simple so as you can see always duplicate the original so that you don't lose that original um, settings so now we will be able to change the setting right here so for the length I want it to be doubled so probably 3000 with probably around 1500 
and then let's see how it looks I think that's perfect for this size and then we can load in go back here seating let's use this chair briar and then CM and then let's add it all the way right here not sure why it's not showing but we could just copy and then what I usually do is I put one side and then mirror the rest so we have it mirrored like this so we have our dining table we could have our living here and then we could have our entertainment area here and then we could have I believe this will be we we could add this one as an office or we could have it as a bedroom and then here we could extend this one all the way right here so now um, let's load in more furniture so we're here at seating already so might as well add in some I'm gonna use sofa carbo click on open CM and then here we could add in something like this I'm going to enlarge this part and then add the same one right here and then we could actually oh, I'm sorry for this one CS we could actually add in a fireplace here so here I'm going to edit duplicate this this will be so far I uh, just want to increase the width so maybe 3000 again and then here we could just have it maybe like that and then we could add in another sitting here we could have add this one cm and then here we could just have it on a different angle to and uh, two of them and then to do some change in orientation you should just press spacebar so that's how you do it and then let's add in a coffee table right here so let's go back to sitting uh, sorry um, table and we have a coffee table here CM on that let's add this one in the middle first and then change it to those one of those preset this one is too big so maybe the second one second one is too small so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit this one duplicate coffee table and then I'm just going to change the length to 1700 and then that makes a huge difference and I like the spacing much better And then later on, we're going to add in a simple fireplace here. And we could even add a TV here. So this is like the form, uh, formal living room. And then we, we will have an entertainment right here or a, a theater. So 
either or we have something right here and then let's load we have the storage right here and then we have the entertainment center and then click open cm on that and then add it right here we could have this one as a storage area so we could move this one all the way or we could just knowing that this is different so cs on this and ginger just extend this one so we have a storage area right here at the same time we could extend this one all the way So instead of that one, I'm going to add something really nice right here. And then at the same time, um, we're going to edit this one as well, having that part there. And then let's add in another seating sofa here. So let's load in go back to seating and let's change the seating a little bit let's use the fancy sofa and then cm on that cm and then let's add it right about here we can extend this one a little bit more and cs right here on the side Maybe on this side, we could have it like that. And then here, we could change the width a little bit. So edit, duplicate, and then let's change the length here to 2400. And that's good enough for me. We have the door right here. And then this is a storage. And let's load in the same thing right here. CS. And add it there. That's good enough. Um, I would like to add a storage right here um, a credenza so here under storage credenza click on open CM on that and then let's add it right here in front of the main entrance this will be the main entrance we're going to change the size on this one but we wanted to align it so AL to align it all the way to the wall so edit that, edit, duplicate, this will be, and then, so. and then the depth, let's change this, that's too much, maybe 400, and then the width, this one should be around 1500, and that's good enough for me, and then we're going to add the main door right here, um, probably we'll add double doors so that will be good enough so we're gonna stop here for now and continue in the next video thank you for watching and hope you liked the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below